Hey everyone, this is Vicki, and today I'm showing you the mainstays. It's a black microwave. This is from Walmart, their brand. It's 0 0.7 cubic feet. Let me show you some of the features of it. It has a LED display, weight and time defrost, kitchen timer and clock, 10 power levels, six quick set menu buttons, 30 second express cooking, and a child safe locking, it has child safe locking. So let me take you into the kitchen. Okay, so this is the microwave. Um, sorry for the glare, but this is, it's about 17 inches and it's perfect for the spot that I needed it in. I can scoot it over a little more, but it's 17 inches and the, it does have a nice door handle. So when you open it up, you know, I have to be careful because my stove is like right there. So I have to be very careful of that. I just stuck like a little bowl of water in there in case I want to turn it on and show you something. But let's see if I can get in there. I'm trying to use this tripod. Okay. 700 watts. So sometimes food will take a little longer. I always add like a couple of uh, minutes when I'm having to cook something. All right, so uh, some of the buttons on here, hope you can see them. Time cook, time defrost, weight defrost, power, clock, kitchen timer, popcorn, potato, pizza, frozen vegetable, beverage, dinner plate. You have the stop and start. Then you have the express cook also. So if you just needed to cook for one minute, you would just hit one minute and it'll start, okay? Now, uh, the time cook, you just put the time in, how long you want to cook something. The power button, a lot of people don't you know, uh, know how to use, but if you want to cook something like at 50 power, you would hit the time cook button. Let's see if I can do it. I'm trying to hold this tripod. So supposing I want to cook something uh, for two minutes. So I would say time cook, two minutes, and then I would go back and hit power. So it's on PL10, which means that's 100% power. You want to hit five. And that would be 50% power. So a two, 20%, three, 30%. So a five is 50% power, and then you would hit the start button. So it's not gonna cook at that 400% power. And some, like TV dinners, I know I have tried in the past, they have said to cook like 50 power, 50% power. So that's how you would do it with that. So the kitchen timer, the pizza is great. It's all self-explanatory. You just, you know, click the button. Let me make sure I stop and see. You just click the button for pizza. Let me see if, if I do it again. Okay, so the more you the more you click on it, so eight, let me just go back to pizza four. So you can see it's gonna be two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so if you say pizza, you hit pizza twice. And it's going to be three minutes and 30 seconds. So you know how big of a slice of pizza you have. That's how you would do it. For a dinner plate, something that I use quite often, and I have done on your other mics also. Um, 9.0, you hit start, it's going to give you like four and a half minutes. Okay. When you're on dinner plate and you know you have a big plate of food, make sure I'm not stop. You're going to... Okay, I make sure you make sure you hit stop. Okay, you're gonna hit dinner plate and dinner plate again. So supposing you had a large plate of food, then it'll give you more time like that. Okay, you can set the clock by hitting clock button, put in the time, and then hit clock again. I believe that's how you do it. Or hit start. I, I, I'm I'm not sure. Hold on, let me try because I'm gonna unplug it. I'll unplug it and then I'll do clock for you. Okay. Okay, so let's do clock. So I'll say clock. Let me look back and see what time it is. We got like 11.43. I'll just say 11.44, so I'll hit clock, and I'm gonna say 11.43, and I think I hit start button. Nope, I hit clock. Okay, so you hit clock, and your clock is set, okay? So clock, the time, and hit clock again. All right, I just wanted to show you that. And so beverage would be if you need to do, just heat up some water something for tea or coffee, frozen vegetable, and popcorn, you know, you just, you just hit the popcorn button, okay? So that is about it, and let's see, did I say it's about 17, maybe 17 and some odd inches? So it's perfect for a counter, small counter, and um, let's see what else I need to tell, oh, the handle, it has a handle that pulls out, 
last time I had a microwave, I just pushed, it was a button right here. So sometimes when I come to use a microwave, I'm, I'm always doing like that <laughs> because I forget because this is new and I, you know, I had a microwave for like three or four years and, and it just, I mean, I wore that microwave out, but, but this is perfect. Only problem I have with this microwave and it's not the microwave's fault is my stove is right here. So sometimes it hit, it hits there. So I have to just be mindful, mindful of that. All right, that's all I wanted to show you. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to um, answer your questions. I paid about 40, excuse the train. I paid about $49.99 for this at Walmart. You can buy it on amazon.com, maybe a little bit more, maybe about 50 something dollars, but if Walmart doesn't have it, you can try, try Amazon and I'll leave a link to both places for you, okay? So thanks for watching and have a great day.